So we did the New York University, which I definitely think after everybody tonight, people have to have this engagement you guys, in your market. Yeah, I have agree. To. I agree. Shit. They just need, and I do too, don't get me wrong. Um, Gosh, yeah, a minute. I texted you because I was looking at bug beds earlier. But, um, but do you guys hear that? Am I echoing? Yeah, a bit. Hmm. Mom is, you are too. Just echo too. Hold on. Maybe just mute everybody and then if somebody wants to talk, they can unmute. Okay, Hi, maybe will help. We'll see. Hey, Tim. Oh, he hey. just. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even looking. I was trying to mute everybody here. <laughs> Um, yeah, let's mute everybody and, and then we'll, we'll see if there's any back. Can you guys hear me better now? Okay. So after having, we had New York University, um, we're going to start doing it once a month here in the Indianapolis market at people's houses and stuff like that. And once a month, the first Monday of the month, that's not a huge commitment for anybody. Um, it's not a huge commitment for the person hosting and we're going to, we're going to share, um, the houses, you know, so it's not just one person all the time hosting, but it's just so huge for so many of us, including myself involved. So not only of is, is it um, just pivotal for people that are in these jobs that they hate. I know people are on this call that hate their jobs and it's negative. And we, as our company, we are the positive for, for the, for these people. I mean, and Yolanda was an example tonight, um, Pam. She literally had the worst day at work and she didn't want to come tonight, but she made a commitment to me and said she was going to be here. So she came and it was exactly what she needed. She needed that force of people saying, you can do this. We are standing behind you. That po positive culture that we so need desperately that we got away from and it keeps people engaged. It keeps people excited. It keeps their why up front. It gives them the training and the knowledge they need. It's huge. Like I couldn't go, I could go on and on about it. But if you guys have markets where you can get some people together for New York University once a month, you will see huge changes coming. Um, just once a month, the first Monday of the month, that's when we're going to do it. So I don't know. But um, Getting them plugged in, because if you think about it, we have regionals in this market, and I know everybody's market's different, but we have regionals where they can plug into. We're going to have New York University they can plug into. And then we're also going to do once a month these concepts of passport parties. Now, we're not going to call them passport parties, but it's the concept of a huge RRP in a restaurant. So we are going to have this concept where if they don't bring a guest, it doesn't matter. They're still plugging in. They're still getting engaged with people. They're still doing the activity. Even if they don't have a guest, they're still doing that activity, including myself. This is all like, I, I mean, it's awesome to get just re-engaged. And this is the excitement that I'm feeling. So I know everyone else on our team is going to feel the exact same excitement. And it's just plugging back in. It's all about just continuously plugging in because we can learn so much from other people we can get engaged and it's a win-win it's a i mean it's just win-win so the new york university once a month the concept of a passport party once a month if you guys are doing market parties in your market and they're working great they weren't really working for us so that's why we're changing the concept and having a huge rrp in a restaurant now that's that's really what a passport party is the January 11th event, after we had our calls today, um, I am much more excited. I am so excited because what they're going to do, it's not going to just be this, not saying the same old, same old training, but it's going to be getting those goals written down for the beginning of the year, getting your dreams planted because we know the why is everything in this. So exactly in the beginning of the year, what we should be doing. We should be getting the goals. We should be getting our why and our vision clear. And then I'm so excited because they are giving us workbooks to work out of. Like this is, I guess, my nerdiness coming out. We are getting workbooks and we are going to literally all go on a 90 day run. And 
that makes me so excited because I know if all of us go on 90 day runs all together, think what our business is going to do. It's going to explode. So not only your personal business, but your, your team's business, their excitement, the momentum is going to take over because once you do those activities, it's inevitable. You're going to bring in business. Those activities, they're just not either they were done lightly over the holidays or they weren't done at all, which is understandable and it's accepted and it's whatever, you know, it's in the past. And now it's on to, okay, what do, what do I, what do our team, what do they want? And then how can we help them get there? And we know what it is. I was talking to Nikki the other day and I'm like, we know what it is to lose weight. It's to track your active, track your, your food intake and hold yourself accountable. And it's the exact same thing in this business. We have to track our activity or we're not going to do it, or it's going to get um, forgotten about almost to, like what happens with me when I don't track my activity. Cause like now that I've been in this business for so long, it's like, I have to do kind of 90 day runs all the time, but then I have stopped that. Uh, that is like what has happened in my business is that I've stopped doing the trackers and I need that because it shows me what I did last week and what I did the week before. So then I can follow up. That's my tracking system for me personally. So, but what I'm thinking, even with these new brand partners, this is people, um, and some people aren't going to be wrong, but people like to check things off, you know, and people like to get into a rhythm of what they need to do. So then if we do get them in this rhythm of 90 days of knowing what to do, even if they don't do it afterwards, they're going to still be in the rhythm of knowing what to do. So that's exciting. So we're all going to go on this run together, January 11th. So with that being said, I wanted to talk to you guys. Um, once we're launching this run right now until January 11th, I think our focus should be to get people at this event. I think it is going to be pivotal for the excitement and to know where to go with this 90 day training. Okay. And, and we can definitely, and I, I would assume that leaders are going to do calls after it. If people weren't able to come and, and to, you know, explain this 90 day run for people that haven't been able um, to do, ever do one. But at the same time, I think for our team, I think we could, um, there's a couple ideas we can talk about collectively of what we want to do. Do we want to um, do account, like at one point we have done a lot of different things. We've done kind of a uh, weekly call where we added excitement. It's kind of like accountability call. Um, I can't, it was for the trip to Puerto Vallarta. And I remember always starting music at the beginning and, and, and all of that. And I don't remember what we did on those calls, but I do remember giving recognition on those calls of who turned on their, turned in their trackers. Um, and do we want to do that again? And I'm fine with leading a call like that. And I'm fine with getting all the trackers to myself and I'm fine with recognizing everyone. Um, I might not be able to recognize everyone on Facebook. That might be like way time consuming. And we might want to, if we do want to go that route, we might have to have leaders, um, congratulate on Facebook if we want to go that route. Does that make sense? What are we kind of thinking as a team where we want to go for this 90 day run with our team and how we want to keep them? Because recognition is huge and accountability is huge. It really is. It's part of runs in my opinion. So you guys can open it up if you have any thoughts or what you liked before we've done. Mom, you're unmuted. Hold on. I can't hear you. Or you're muted. You're, you're muted. Hold on. I'll do it. There you go. The first thing we did for those runs is that we had everybody sign up if they were going to go on the run. That's important. I mean, we may act like everybody's going to do it, but we need to have commitment. I remember we had a huge list of people who wanted to go to Port of Ireland or who wanted to do a run. So we always just started it with that. So I suggest we do that. And then I do like the accountability, but do you really want to collect all of those? Well, I can't, I can't like recognize everyone on Facebook. That would be a lot of tagging people that I think it would be 
too much for one person to do. I wouldn't mind if we do want to have accountability calls, which I don't know what those even look like. I would, I, I would be fine with reading all the names that turn them in. I don't think reading them is a, as, as big of a deal as uh, posting them. No, no, because it takes even a lot of work for us to post them all. Yeah. So, but what we did was we recognized everybody and then we did some kind of training. We did something after that recognition and someone took it and did some kind of training on, you know, two a day or, you know, going out to referrals or something. Mm -hmm. I know we did. It wasn't very long. Uh, then calling out the names took the longest. Yeah. And I would. I know. I know. Oh, sorry, Sheila. Go ahead. I know this is supposed to be a once a month call, but do we want to see what they come up with on Saturday? Yeah, and, and they might have some kind of this this next Monday. And then, you know, you know, something I did last week that opened my eyes huge. Um, I went back through all of my customers that purchased last year by month. And I went through the entire year and I haven't done the percentage, but I know it's ridiculously high that I would say 90 something percent of my business last year came from my already current customers. Mm -hmm. You know, it was just kind of a huge red flag of what if I'd gone out and gotten that many new customers to go with all those old customers, where would my business have been? And, you know, I'm very fortunate to have, you know, at the beginning of the month, I already know I have my nine. They're already scheduled. Um, and I'm, it's like you get too comfortable. I almost wish the company would put another incentive level to say, here's another 50 bucks if you get 20. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like we all get to that comfortable stage and say, well, I got that bonus. And you, and you kind of take your foot off the gas when you shouldn't. Well, yeah, I mean. So it's just, I mean, I was shocked at the percentage of, you know, I mean, it's great to have those repeat customers. But in my own mind, I was like, damn, if you got all those people to begin with, you can go get that many more. Well, today it feels like from your university and the PD and above call, it really feels like we are completely, um, we need to grow with referrals and, and taking those current awesome customers right. and asking them to have, like New York University, Michaela up in Canada, she like has had huge growth up in Canada. And so New York University was actually really good. And I haven't watched it in a really long time. So this is going to hold me accountable too, to continue on with uh, just training, but expanding our network. She told us to print out your PC report and of your customers and ask them if they're open, open to earning rewards. And I, like seriously no joke and you guys you guys have these friends too if you ask them for something they would do it for you if you just was like hey i'm having new goals in 2020 as a small business as a small business owner the majority of our business comes from personal referrals would you and i will give you some free product would you have a party for me just i know my friends would do that for me but why do i have this pre notion not even to ask them because I don't want to bug them. They will want to help me. And we do have customers that want to just help us. They don't even care about the free product, you know? So she was actually doing that last year. That really like she changed her business in a year, I guess. Like it, from what November last year or no 18 to November this year. Um, and then she said another thing that she did was she traveled more. So like she took those pockets of her market and she went to those pockets and she was pregnant with her third baby. She actually brought her baby to one of these PC parties that she asked them if she could, if they would host for her. And she had her wine and her baby and she brought on three brand partners at this party because they wanted all the products. So I think it's just like getting out of our own head. And this is, this is me speaking just of what I do and getting out of my own head and just being like 
knowing that I have friends that want to help me and I know that I just haven't asked them yet. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm too caught up in what I'm thinking they're going to think when they really are just so sweet and they don't know. So, um, and you guys are the same way. I'm looking at all you guys. And if any of your, one of your friends asked you, would you have something for me, please? You would totally do it. It would be fun. So, um, I don't know. We don't have to decide right now. One thing I do truly, truly believe in is the accountability piece. I don't care if we have accountability calls. That is something I don't want to have to stress about tonight. But what I do truly think is recognizing our brand partners. I think recognition and accountability is kind of huge in these 90 day runs. And, and if you don't, and I think maybe from a PD or even elite, I think from those levels down, it is more than, it is more than, um, you're more than capable to just recognize your team if they do 90 day runs. So, and I mean, you know what I'm saying? So maybe you take it to that level, ED and above. If you are an ED, you take your team. And if you're above that, you look down at your EDs and whoever's missing, you take those pockets and you do the recognition for those pockets that don't have EDs with them. But, but I think that would be attainable. And I think it would be a lot of action and recognition on our page, which would be awesome if all of us took our own teams and kind of did those pockets. And then we have like a huge every week, like, congratulations, you know, you did it. I don't know. What do you guys think? Certainly worth a try. I mean, recognition is a lot in this business. It really is. Um, and especially those new brand partners that are just starting out. Think if we got them on these 90 day runs and we gave them those recognitions, like who wouldn't have fun? And, and again, who wouldn't even be bringing in, they would be bringing in customers and possibly brand partners from the activities they're doing. So, I don't know, something we can think about and keep brainstorming from the January 11th event. Um, oh, another thing that I'm super excited about is this giveaway gold mirror. Guys, I have a feeling this is going to be huge. So it's just not starting out, we just have been doing it for what, not even two weeks, maybe 10 days. And now, granted, it did grow super fast when we had giveaways every single day, but we're going to have giveaways every single week. And these are the third-party validations and tools and before and after photos and all of these things that keep people's interest and they keep dripping on people. And those customers, they're continuously being dripped on. And I just think, and I've stressed it enough on masters, but if the more people, if they're not in this on your team, just put them in there <laughs> and, and tell them that, that they need to add their people because it's huge not to. Like these people are getting free product. Why wouldn't they want to get in? You know, like, I don't know. So I'm, I'm very excited about giveaway galore and I will change it to giveaways galore again after I'm not in like Facebook detention. <laughs> I don't know why you can change the name after you've changed it. Um, but that's really exciting. And my mom's doing it this, Marilyn's doing it this week, and she's giving away sunscreen and she'll be posting. And, and you guys, put your testimonials out there. Like, it just, what has Neora done for you this week? Like, if it paid for your groceries this week, if it paid for your mortgage this week, put it out there. Like those little wins are what people need and we have a gift. We have a gift that we can share with people that are right now wishing and hoping and praying for a new opportunity in 2020 and we do have the answer. It's just getting them to realize and know. I mean, I was praying for something. I just didn't realize it was going to be a skincare direct marketing company. Like people need something like this. They just don't know about it. So it's up to us to tell them. So I think this is going to be a good, easy platform to kind of get the word out. That's what I'm hoping. So um, anything else that you guys learned from the PD call today? Um, anything that you guys, what they did have a commitment we have um, from New York University, what we did is we watched it. And then they asked us to, to comment on Team New York of what you're committed to. One brand partner, two brand partners, four, and... We, we went around and committed to each other, like, I want to get two. 
I want to get that, you know, giveaway for the thousand dollars. That would be so sweet. But, um, you know, and maybe ask your team, what do they want? What are they looking for? Especially as we start January 11th, like we need to be asking our teams what they're kind of looking for for the new year. And if you guys have markets where you can do dream boards and all of that, I, I truly think you should because it all does start with those dreams. And at the beginning of the year, everybody's kind of like in a new excitement and new vision of what they're looking for. So it's the perfect time if you want to. Patricia? Yeah. I think the other really big thing from that call was when Jeff was talking about instead of writing down everything you want to do or you know you're supposed to do every day at the end of the day, write down what you actually did to get new business. Yeah, I thought that. Um, you know, and you're going to start embarrassing yeah. yourself if you don't have anything to write down and you're going to get out there and get it done. Mm -hmm. That was eye opening for sure. Because we can say what we want, but did we just do? We keep planning and not doing. Right. And that's what this 90 day run is going to do. It's going to put that activity out there. And I don't know if you guys heard these KPIs. Um, I'll go ahead and share them with you guys. I don't know if it was on the um, NMD call or the PD call, but the KPIs that are going to be on this 90 day run. What's a KPI? Um, key press questionable and key performance indicator. Thank you. And will, okay. Patient, will you mute okay. everybody too? I don't know which line is. Um, anyway, I just want to go. Am I um, KPI key performance indicator? Okay, cool. So pretty much what it means is what we're going to track. What are we starting to really get those activities out there that are tracking? So how many number of exposures, getting people into that rhythm of exposing people again, number of presentations, the 15, and that can be, you know, what we all talk about with the presentations. I don't like that word, but the, the activity of the dash sampling and the activity of parties and all of that good stuff, presentations, team, do uh, new P, new BPs, how many, one new BP, nine PCs, one new BP, nine PCs, that kind of rhythm. Are you registered for Get Real? And then your team PC bonus level number two. Getting people to that bonus level number two, it is bringing in the brand partners. Once they get three brand partners and those P, brand partners get PCs, like it catapults. And that's what I was, when I was sharing my story today with somebody, I, I was like, it, it does catapult pulp your business when you start at the beginning, of, not, not just in my story, but if any one of your team members starts today and they go to start their business or restart it or start it from very ground, ground floor, if they start with getting three brand partners and those nine PCs as their first goals or one brand partner a month, whatever, you hit those bonuses and people see what's going on and the momentum starts and it just ripples and it ripples to someone getting a car and then it ripples to one other person getting a car. And it's just, it starts with you. And that's another thing I heard on all these calls today is it starts with one person and that's you. You are the one that is going to be the deciding factor of how your business goes this, this year. And it's you getting out there and doing it to then catapult it to the next level with everyone else following lead. So it is, it is pretty eye opening today. I feel like with these, um, these trainings is it's just, it's refreshing. I'm excited. I'm really excited for 2020 and what, um, you know, when I went around, today and I don't know if it was the right setting to go around in but I didn't care because I'm putting it out in the universe is that um you know for my at at six years into this business I mean what do you want I am at a love not a level I'm at a time in my career and my my just who I am I'm ready to really help people that really really need it like that is my, that is my, I mean, I could start crying actually, because I know there's someone out there that needs this. I know it. And it's just up to us to go out and find them and, and, and just think how much you could be that person to change someone's life. 
it's huge and, and it's exciting. And that's what I want to do this year. I want to find those people that really, really, truly, genuinely need this and are coachable and ready to work. Because I mean, it's great working with people that just want free product and I meet people where they are, but I'm ready to find someone that really, truly needs this. So keep putting it, I mean, I'm putting it out in the universe. Like, we'll see what happens. And I think you should too. And if anybody else wants to share, go right ahead. Um, but I think that's what we need to get to with our team even, is what do you want? Share that with them and see what they want and, and start dreaming with them and, and see how you can help them, really. So anything else that we wanna chat about or talk about with the new year? Once we hear what goes on Saturday, when are we going to get back together as a group to decide what we do on recognition and stuff? Because Saturday's the 11th. I assume the run will start on Monday. Wouldn't you? Yeah. With Could we Monday. meet Sunday? What about I mean, Sunday after the team call? Yeah. And just, uh, just to say, hey, what are we going to do exactly? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll probably get some, um, just what happens on the 11th. Kelly, I, yeah. did see, I did see your question. I think you do have to be um, at the event to actually be able to participate. I don't think they're going to record it or anything. Some people were thinking that, that possibly you, they were going to record it and then you were going to be able to listen um, remotely. Is that If that's your question, I don't, I don't think that's the case that can happen. You do have to drive to the event if you wanted to go. Um, but I think by Sunday, all of us leaders will have like a rhythm of how we're gonna all, you know, from next level and Jen Givens down and all that, like it'll funnel down because we all need to do the same kind of thing. So we all can not hear a thousand different ways to do it. And we all need to be cohesive with the same message to our team, so. I don't know how to get the workbook. I might, they might put that on, I would maybe assume they're going to put that out there for people to print that they, if they weren't able to go, but I don't know that for sure. I can find it out, Kelly. So are we going to take, did we talk about taking inventory and stuff this week? Like, are you going to put something out there in masters and maybe send like a email out to everybody so we can start building a list of who, already knows they want to participate yeah i'll send an email out tomorrow because i want to talk about the january 11th event and i'm going to say if you can this is the event to go to um and i can kind of explain what they're going to be going over and then what i would do before january 11th or before um next week is yeah we'll take inventory i post it out there i'll start sharing that out of the list that we're gathering you collectively write out your people too from that list um, and who wants to, and, and ask your team and, and start talking to them too. I can do the masses, but you individually talk to them too and see if they want to be engaged and what they're looking for because the activity and the accountability is what's going to get them to those goals. So if you guys um, are going to the January 11th, great, that event. And if you guys want to even, um, I know the week it's kind of getting short, but if there's anything like dream boarding with your team locally, if you want to do that, you can do that too, to kind of get them inspired to want to do the activity because that's what's going to get them up early and go to bed late is, you know, those dreams and, and their why. So it's like, that's what that January 11th is going to do for us. But if they're not going to it, then we need to kind of get them in that, that same energy. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? What do you guys think? Yeah, well, I'm also thinking, like, I was trying to think of, like, with masters, as we have people that, kind of like how you said you guys were going out on Team Miora and, you know, saying, oh, I'm committed to this, I'm committed to that. I'm thinking, like, to help draw attention to it, like, for the rest of the week, too, leading up to it. Like, as we have somebody new that commits or, like, even ourselves, like, if we start posting it out there in Masters and, like, tagging them and saying, you know, hey, Jessica and Kelly just committed to, you know, the new 90-day run and, like, tag them and kind of, to kind of, like, draw attention to it for people and then, like, applaud them for raising their hand and saying, yes, I want to do it. Yeah, um, great idea. I love it. Yep. I love it. 
for sure. That's a great idea because then that'll help you stay um, engaged with who on your team is doing it too. So once you find out like from this, um, you know, once you find out the names, just go ahead and congratulate them and then that'll keep, you know, the energy up too. Yeah. Okay, cool. I'll email everyone. I'll put a sign up and we'll go ahead and um, for the moment, we'll go ahead and put it at the very top you know, so it can stay up there? Or do you think the notifications will kind of keep it up there anyway? But we'll keep it up there one way or another. Um, and so people can continue to see it all week too. Cause I just don't want it to get too buried, you know? Um, so yeah, we'll get, we'll get that. And then any other questions or thoughts or things you think? Anything? You guys excited? Cool. I'm excited to go. I'm going to be at the Indy one and is there an after party? There probably, yeah, we're probably going to go to Mexican. Okay. I'm just trying to think about, I'll probably be bringing Mamma with me. Cool. Okay. I, know. I guess I'll be, I haven't really talked to see if anybody needs a ride, but I guess I'll just drive there in the morning, but I'll probably know more after I I'm on the Zoom with you guys, the hosts of the Indy one tomorrow morning. Okay. Cool. Well. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, guys. I'm excited. We'll talk soon. Have fun. Thanks, bye. bye.